Welcome back guys. Uh, I've been up to a couple of things today. Take a look here. Okay. First thing that we did, got the side surrounds moved. Now these are just temporarily resting in their new home, just to give you an idea. Um, it was up there. So up here, this was the uh, drywall box location in the the actual on the back there's a bracket back here and it actually rested up here the problem was it, to me was that the side surround felt like it was competing with the previous atmos location which was in this area but as you saw in my last video if you watched it this is the new location of the front height uh, left speaker and then if we go back here you've got this location uh, this is like the middle atmos but what how i have it wired right now on the receiver they're run in series so it's instead of eight ohms it's 16 ohms so we've got the same signal going to the middle uh, height speaker uh, as you do for the front up here I watched some content, uh, I put on John Wick, John Wick 2, Power Rangers, a couple other random movies with Atmos tracks for True HD. Wow, you can definitely hear it so much better when it's right above you versus when, and I think maybe it's the beam is to blame, maybe it was obfuscating some of the audio when it was, you know, back in its original location. I'm not sure, but I'm very happy with the difference. Um, so I've got these speakers just hanging on the wall. They're not wired at the moment. I've got to sand and repaint this this mess that you see. Um, I just wanted to give you a visual indication of, you know, what it looks like versus before. Okay, and I did the same thing, obviously, on the other side. That's the new home versus where it was before. Gives you an idea. I think relative location to the seating, because it's a bipole speaker, that one speaker is definitely aimed more in line with the seating versus before it was a bit too high. And again, there's your middle height speaker and the front. So those two are both receiving the same signal for the front and you've got the rear. That hasn't changed. Okay, so elephant in the room, what is going on with the walls? Okay, so recently, uh, had some things in the works. I'm definitely doing some some kind of screen masking. I'm really sick and tired of watching movies in 2.4 or 2.35 and having gray bars. You know, I don't have the most prestigious projector in the world, but you know, honestly, you know, it's a light controlled room. I think it does incredibly well. Uh, I would rate the picture quality, honestly, you know, 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10 for, for most content. But I would like inky black horizontal top and bottom bars. So the question is how to get it. And the answer is masking. Like, sure, I could have, you know, some of you out there are like, well, no, you're wrong. You should go with a constant image height set up and have, you know, a 239 or 240 screen and just reduce the height on 185 and 177 content. And I say, okay, you're right, I could. Uh, a, my projector doesn't have motorized lens memory, which is a problem. And B, I'm not shelling out for an anamorphic lens. N that's just not right. That's not happening right now. So, and for a lot of content, like I've mentioned before, like premium TV, like Game of Thrones or, you know, Better Call Saul, anything that's really good, it is fantastic to have that extra image height. Never mind, you know, variable aspect ratio movies like Christopher Nolan. And I'm sure that really bothers some of you that have constant image height setups because when Christopher Nolan decides that your height's going to expand, you don't get any. You know, and that, that does weigh on me. Like, I had to take that into account when I decided to make a really large 16x9 screen. So, I'm really happy with this. For a lot of content, you know, at, at 13 feet away, at 140 inches, it's fantastic. And I take back... If I mentioned before, you know, making the image, the screen bigger, I think it's pretty much at the perfect size given the distance that I view it at, honestly. 
Um, that being said, I aim to correct the gray bar. So how do you do it? Well, recently I, I posted on the EVS forum and I asked, and I've been doing some research, and I asked people, you know, what fabric is the best? What kind of velvet? Well, I, I actually went out to a local fabric store, Joanne Fabrics, and they were selling their, their premium velvet fabric at, you know, upwards of $30 a yard, which is, it's crazy. I'm not, there's no way I'm spending 30 bucks a yard. That's, that is asinine. So, um, yet again, Mississippi Man on the AVS forum came through and said, hey, check out Psy Fabrics, and I ordered a few yards, which is sitting in this pile over here. I can show you. So I received this fabric, and just to give you an idea of the difference, uh, this is their premium triple velvet something or other, but this is, um, their, uh, what is the code name, Astronomical, it's... It is pretty dark. I mean, the subwoofers are black, the seating's black. You can get an idea. It's pretty dark. But when I hold the fabric up to the wall, no, it is not dark. This is dark. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to create the masking for the screen. Not exactly sure how I'm going to do it. Um, I am thinking, you know, thin wood strips um, and then have like, obviously there's two pieces. You know, you create your frame, and you'll attach the velvet to the frame, and then you attach the frame to, say, the ceiling, which would swing down when in use, and give you your top masking piece, and the bottom piece would rest on the floor, and you'd bring it up and, and, and you'll latch it into place for the bottom horizontal bar. So I'm taking this a step further. Um, did more research, and there's a lot of people with very expensive prestigious setups and they are very much in the boat of you need to use that velvet for the entire room and I did you know I've been doing a lot of research on this and I get it I mean even in this room completely light controlled with the lights off but the projector on these walls and ceiling and the floor they definitely uh, reflect some light which really kind of brings down your overall contrast with the screen so I, you know, I, I reached out to some people and I was going to order more of the Psy Fabric Triple Velvet. But somebody said, hey, check this out. And on Amazon, there's a, you know, different seller. And they have a very, very similar product. And it was for half. So, it's, you know, Joann's was 30. Psy Fabrics was 9. And this other third-party vendor was uh, 4 bucks a yard. So I did the math on this room for all the walls, the ceiling and a very large chunk of this gray floor, uh, which I plan on putting plywood down and then velvet so you can walk on it, vacuum it, um, instead of it just squishing into the carpet. Uh, I ordered two bolts of this black velvet. Uh, it's a 30 yards a bolt. That should do pretty much all the walls and ceiling. I might need a little bit more for the carpet, but you know, no big deal. And that only ran me like 250 bucks. So that's pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to that. That fabric should be here mid to late uh, this coming week. And that leads me to why my walls are a mess. You know, I, I can't just run the velvet over the foam. So I took the foam off the walls and I made the mistake. You know, don't be, don't be me. I made the mistake of painting at some point, painting around the panels to the wall, which adhered the panels to you know, to the actual drywall paper. So even though I, I took a razor blade and went around the panels and took them off gracefully, they still took some drywall paper off with them. I've never really been a fan of how they've looked. I was all more about the practicality and the fact that they reduced the room reverberations. Um, and they, they looked kind of neat, but very, very cheap budget solution to a problem. I'm hoping that when this whole room is velvet, it, I won't actually need the foam. Um, so time will tell. If I need acoustic paneling, I'm going to look at other solutions for that. But um, in the meantime, the foam paneling you've seen before is gone. I've got the side surrounds remounted. Uh, they're in a new home. I'm in love with how the new atmosphere sound. I've got the masking for the screen coming. And the entire room will be encased in velvet. A lot of work. Looking forward to the changes. All right, guys. Well, until next time, take care.